welcome back to my channel you guys i had tried to film a video prior to this and it was just not working out whatsoever so instead of filming that i want to go ahead and tell you guys my top six bronzers i know how hard it is to find bronzers for our skin tone especially women of color or people of color it is almost impossible so i did decide to go ahead and get my six top favorites in my collection um and if you guys want to stick around and see what they are then go ahead and keep on watching all right so the first one is my absolute favorite bronzer in the whole entire world i actually bought this a few months ago and it's the nars gianna contour blush so it's actually supposed to be a contour blush but honestly it's a bronzer i don't care what anyone says but the reason why i love it is because it's very creamy on the skin it blends so well and the shade is absolutely perfect let me go ahead and give you guys a quick swatch okay so this is what it looks like on the back of my hand it's not too red it's not too brown i think it's absolutely perfect and i do have it on my face today it's just one of the best i've tried and the price the price is the only thing I do say is a little bit too much. It's around $42 or $45. I do not remember how much I pay for this. So it is pretty expensive. Um, but I've been using it for a couple months now. And honestly, it hasn't even put a dent in it. So I do think it will last a long time. So NARS Contour Gianna Blush. You would not find it at Sephora whatsoever. But if you go on their website, they do have it there. So go ahead and pick it up. Okay, so the next bronzer, I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about it. I just want to get it out the way. So this is a CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer in ebony bronze it is such a cult favorite but honestly the more i use it the more i realize how hard it is in the packaging like when i touch it it's not soft whatsoever it's actually pretty hard if i do say so myself but what i love about it is you can find it in the drugstore pretty affordable and not expensive whatsoever and i also love how it makes me look so glowy and bronzy in the summer it's one of my favorites out there i think it's about six to seven dollars the only thing i will say also is it's almost impossible to find it in stores you have to go to Kmart, Walmart, and you have to hunt for it. But let me go ahead and swatch it next to the NARS bronzer just to compare the two. So this one right here is a CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer, and on top is a NARS bronzer. I will say the CoverGirl one is a little bit more neutral, not as red on the skin tone, so I will give it that. Um, but I don't know why I'm talking so much about this. I'm sure everyone has it out there. But if you don't, please go out to Kmart, Walmart, and if you find it, go ahead and buy all of them. Okay, so this next bronzer, it kind of saddens me because I haven't seen it at Ulta or their website. I haven't seen it in the stores or anywhere else because I do think they discontinued it. But this is a Shea Moisture Mandalay Dusk Bronzer and this is what it looks like. I love how dark and rich it is. It's very hard to find a bronzer like this in the drugstore or anywhere else. Um, but let me go ahead and swatch it and compare it to the rest of the shades. All right, so side by side comparison, I will say this one right here is so dark and rich. I am so here for it. If you're looking for a contour shade or a bronzer shade that's a little bit dark, this is a perfect one. But at the same time, I don't even know if it's still in stores. So I don't know if I want to recommend it to you guys, but it's just one of the best I have tried out there when it comes to a very deep shade. So if you guys do know where you can get this, please let me know down below so you can help me out and everybody else out who would love to pick this up. Um, but yeah, this one, you guys... I really really do love okay so this next product is actually pretty funny because if you guys do know Alyssa ashley here on youtube she always talks about her sephora micro smooth powder so with that being said i decided to go ahead and pick it up and i did get the shade deep but one thing i did notice is every single time i put it on my face it will turn my face red so i'm like what is going on is it a face powder like is it a bronzer what is this so one day i actually decided to go ahead and use it as a bronzer and guess what it actually does work so let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like first. So this is what it looks like. And honestly, it looks very light in the pan. It looks like a face powder, nothing special. But when you go ahead and swatch it, you guys, you will be absolutely shocked. So I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but this is what it looks like on my skin. It is pulling up more orange and red on my skin tone. So actually, you can go ahead and use this as a bronzer. And what I love about it is this formula is very smooth and creamy on the skin. So it blends really well. I mean, it's just funny because it's a face powder, but you can use it as a bronzer. So with that being said, if you guys haven't tried this out, please go ahead and do. I do think it's like $20 to $22. So it's not too bad when it comes to Sephora prices. Um, but it's just funny because it's not a bronzer, but it works like a bronzer too. All right, so next one is the Black Radiance Contour Palette in the shade Medium to Deep. When this first came out, you guys, there was so much hype around it because a contour palette for our skin tone is very rare. So when it first came out, I couldn't find it in stores. I couldn't see it anywhere. But I really do love this palette because I love the color scheme in here. The highlight shade is absolutely gorgeous on the skin. 
the setting powder and also the contour shade but i do use the contour shade as a bronzer shade instead because it's a very neutral shade so let me go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand and honestly as i'm swatching it it feels so creamy and soft which is very very nice Okay, so this is what it looks like on the back of my hand and honestly it does have a gray undertone to it but at the same time if you do use a light hand it would be perfect for bronzing your face um but if you guys want to go ahead and pick this up i've seen it at target walmart i think it's the only two places i've seen it and of course their websites um but it's just such a beautiful palette and i really really do recommend it all right so last but not least is a tar time shade like contour palette i do not think they have this anymore on their website i think it was like a little bit of a limited edition item but at the same time i do love to talk about it all right so this is what it looks like when you open it up and they do have two contour shades in here but honestly if you use a very light hand it will come off as a bronzer shade but it's so creamy and blendable and it smells like chocolate like every time i open it up i'm just like sniffing it like a crazy woman um but it's very creamy very blendable and also very pigmented so let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys okay so the top one right here is a lighter shade and honestly if you're lighter than me it will be a perfect contour shade and a bronzer shade and the second one is a contour shade that's a little bit deeper which is perfect for contouring your face or bronzing at the same time so to be honest, I don't think they still sell this, but if you do have it or you can find it somewhere, please go ahead and pick it up. I really do highly recommend it. Well, okay, so that's everything I do have for you guys. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video because honestly, I was not planning on filming this video today, but the first video I was trying to film was not working out whatsoever. So I'm glad I went ahead and did this video instead. Um, but don't forget to like and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one.